Users, before you begin mapping for the first time, if you have a vacuum with navigation and you have the following settings on your vacuum, before you start mapping, be sure advanced mode, continuous cleaning, and multi-floor maps are turned on. Multi-floor maps is accessed from an icon at the bottom left of the map page that looks like two pages in a pencil. For some reason, these options are turned off by default. You will want them on. I have no idea why these are off by default. I can't think of a reason why you would not want them on. The newer T9 screens may differ and some older models won't have all these features. Okay, first off, you'll want to find a good location for your charger dock or auto empty dustbin. Per Ecovac's instructions, place the charger dock on a level floor surface against the wall with the base perpendicular to the ground Keep the immediate area 1.5 meters or 5 feet in front of the charger and 0.5 meters 1.6 feet on both sides of the charger clear of objects and reflective surfaces. If you're planning on using the mopping feature, you will definitely not want the dock on the carpet. The vacuum by design will not run on the carpet while in mopping mode. The mopping mode is enabled when the mopping plate is installed. It should be obvious, but no mopping while mapping. Be sure all the doors to the rooms you want to map stay open throughout the entire process. The vacuum will very likely want to avoid or not even not like very dark flooring due to the drop sensors. This can be resolved by covering your drop sensors with tape, assuming you don't have a legitimate reason for your drop sensors such as stairs. Also, floor level mirrors and or reflections can interfere with creating a clean map. Think of how you can try to avoid them. They can also cause issues later during vacuuming. If it maps with a mirror, it will look strange because it will show a room where there is not one. This usually does not cause a problem when vacuuming because it can't get there anyway. I would highly recommend mapping in quiet mode to conserve your battery and for other reasons. It uses a lot less battery, at least if you have a large home. You'll thank me later. The T8 and later models, you turn on quiet mode by going to cleaning preferences at the bottom left and disable cleaning preferences, and then select the fan with the line through it. On the 950 and older models, there should be a quiet mode in the vacuum power settings. Quiet mode disables auto boost suction, so that option can stay on. If at all possible, do not interfere with the vacuum while mapping. So pick up or block anything or area you may think might interfere with the mapping. You will have no-go lines to control where your vacuum goes after the mapping is completed. So hands off the vacuum if at all possible while mapping. The map will only be saved when the vacuum docks back in the charger by itself. After mapping is complete, go ahead and press the save button and multi-floor mapping to say the save button will disappear once the map is saved and it will show you the map is saved. If when it's done and you don't have a map in the multi-floor area page or the area section, you also won't have a save button. What that is telling me is that for some reason your map is not completed. Most of the time it completes on the first run, but periodically it may take another run. This happened to me a couple of times and the way I fixed it is just run another auto claim. Hope this helps. Message me with any comments or suggestions or questions. Until next time.